Primary media would be tattooing on skin. Other than that, you know, it all started on a piece of paper and kind of just evolved into tattooing. My mom said I popped out with a pencil in my hand, so I was just sketching all the time, drawing comics, little like uh, anime characters, like Dragon Ball Z stuff, like, you know, just kind of the average stuff at first. And then it kind of just moved on to, uh, to graffiti and graffiti was my main love for a solid five years or so while I was going to college and I grew up in Nampa, um, born and raised, been here my whole life. You know, at first I tried to escape, you know, because I grew up in like a rural area where like, you know, there wasn't much to do. So uh, kind of naturally boredom became creativity and I started to draw, paint, you know, whatever it was to like, pass the time. But um, I realized Boise is actually really cool. Like it's growing, you know, it's it's a place where you can you can build something at this point and, and I'm loving it so far. So I'm, I'm going to stick around. I'll see myself moving. It's, it's growing and I want to show my daughters that like you could just focus on whatever it is that that you love make sure you love it because if if you don't love it it's going to be tough it's, there's a lot of hurdles you got to get through like it, with whatever it is you're going for and like what makes me wake up to, to try and kill it is just to like inspire my my kids and you know whoever it is that wants to be inspired you know i just want to be an inspiration I don't think it'll, I'll ever stop doing art. It's honestly something that is part of me that it's kind of like a medication, man. Like when it comes down to it, if I'm not creating art, I get depressed. Like no joke, I don't feel good. i not a good person to be around if I haven't like painted something or drawn something for myself or somebody else that I'm kind of excited to make for them. Tattooing is such a satisfying medium, especially one-shot tattoos when you start and finish them. You get to see the process of kind of messy, not scratches, but like a messy beginning and that ultimately manifests as a finished like piece that the person is, can wear for the rest of their life. and. It's one of the best ways to create. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of pre pre preparation that goes into it, and it makes it all that more satisfying. Like, once you finish a tattoo and you get to look at it, and you you know you put hard work into it, it's such a satisfying feeling. Maybe not immediately, because sometimes I'm dead beat, tired, and I can't like. I can't appreciate it as much, but like later on, I, 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 I see them in person or look, look at the picture I took and it's like, damn, that's, that's cool. Like I actually followed through with that, you know? Well, I, I believe art is a, a way of communication between uh, an artist and their community, like whether it be a tattoo or graffiti or a mural somewhere. It's, it's a great way to communicate and express yourself. And a lot of times people have the same types of feelings when they look at a piece of art and it's a nice way to, to, to escape from whatever thought that you might have had, whether it have been negative or like troubling. Like if you look at a piece of art, you're gonna wonder what it took to get to the finished product and and it's always like a journey like you one brush stroke leads to another and the last brush stroke of the painting is very unique to that painting so I don't think so man I think art's gonna stick around for sure as far as my life and 